Hello everyone, I am Carolyn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about the nuclear fusing with lasers. Before going to nuclear fusing with lasers, we should know about what is nuclear fusion. Fusion is a process in which two atoms of elements are compressed to such an extent that they are nuclear fused together and a new element is produced whose mass is less than the sum of the masses of the two elements. For example, when four hydrogen nuclei are fused together, a helium nucleus is formed. The mass of the single nucleus formed is always less than the sum of the masses of the individual light nuclei. The difference in mass is converted into energy in accordance with Einstein's equation. E is equal to mc square. For example, if 1 gram of mass is converted into 9 times 10 to the power of 13 joules of energy will be released which is equal to the energy generated by 1000 megawatt power station run continuously for 25 hours. The enormous amount of energy released from the sun is due to the fusion of hydrogen brought about by gravitational forces. The sun produces energy of the order of 3 times 10 to the power of 26 joules per second. We know that fusion is a source of energy in stars. The potential of controlled thermonuclear fusion as an inexhaustible source of energy is now well established. For the nuclei to fuse together, a way must be found to overcome the mutual electrostatic repulsion or coulomb repulsive barrier between the proton clouds of the two nuclei. This could be done by heating the matter to such a high temperature approximately 10,000 degrees Celsius that the thermal velocity imparted to the nuclei is sufficient to overcome the mutual electrostatic repulsion. Matter at such high temperature comprises a mixture of electrons and ions that is a plasma. The fusion power released at such a high temperature is much greater than the energy lost by radiation. However, for the release of a sufficient amount of thermonuclear energy and to sustain fusion reaction, it is necessary to confine the hot plasma so that the fusion reaction continues for a long time. Now, I am going to discuss about the core topic of this video which is the nuclear fusing with lasers. The laser has the potential to generate very high temperature and pressure required to initiate a fusion reaction and to concentrate large amount of energy in a small volume and hence can be an extremely useful tool in bringing about a fusion reaction. In a typical scheme, a pea-sized target pellet that is a fraction of a millimeter in diameter containing fusion fuel usually a deuterium deuterium mixture is projected into a reaction chamber where it is suddenly radiated with intense high energy laser beam. A pulse of 1 nanosecond duration develops a power density of 10 to the power of 16 centimeter square at the pellet surface. As the surface of the target blast away, the rocket-like reaction forces implode the target's interior to densities approximately 1000 times liquid density and temperature approximately 100 million degrees Celsius sufficient to cause the nuclei to fuse releasing a large amount of thermonuclear energy in accordance with the equation deuterium plus deuterium will give helium plus neutron plus 17.6 mega electron volt. For both inertial and magnetic fusion burn efficiency that is the percentage of nuclei that fuse is proportional to the 
product of density and confinement time in magnetic fusion the fuel density is limited by material properties so the efficiency of the burn is increased by extending the duration of confinement in inertial fusion newton's laws and thermal velocity limit the confinement time so the fuel is compressed to higher densities thank you